ladies 15, 16, 500 yard freestyle finals. In lane number one at the bottom of your screen is Whitney Jorgensen. Lane two, Reed Whaley. Lane three, Selena Lee. Lane four, your leader from this morning, Helen Tang. Lane five, Jenna Bauer. Lane six, Kristen Brand. Lane seven, Hilvi Shang. And in lane number eight is Kate Yu. Helen Tang, your leader from this morning. She was a 5023, so she is another one that might be under that five minute mark. But it's the two girls right around Helen that are out first at the 50. Selena Lee down in lane number three, and Jenna Bauer up in lane number five. They've got the early speed. Hundred with her feet on the wall is Jenna Bauer with a 55-65. About half a second behind her with the 56-2 is Selena Lee. These girls definitely might have been saving up a little bit from their prelim swim this morning and looking for some time drops tonight as Selena was a 506 and Bauer was a 504. So they are on pace to be under the five minute mark. I'm pretty sure that Jenna Bauer was one of the finalists in the 200 freestyle from day number one. And I know that Selena Lee won that 200 butterfly last night. So these two girls, very familiar with leading the pack, and that's exactly what they're doing here at the 150 early on as they've broken away from the rest of the field, including your top qualifier from the prelims, Helen Tang. Coming up on the 200, it's Jenna Bauer with the advantage. Jenna swims for Neptune, and she's out in a 155-10. Selena Leaf of the Pleasanton Seahawks out in 155-58. A lot of these girls swimming unattached, trying to protect that high school eligibility. I'm not sure exactly what the rule is, but that explains the unattached names in the heat sheet and on those final results. At the halfway mark, these girls are still pretty close. Advantage going to Bauer up there in the top in five, but probably only by about an arm's length. 225 and a 224 there at the halfway mark. Helen Tang sitting back there in third, flipping in 229-38 at the halfway mark. And now Selena Lee making a move here. A lot of times you see that halfway mark at the 250 as the go button. And that appears to be what Selena Lee had in mind as she now makes her move and at the 300 will have the lead for the first time in this race. 254, 37 is her 300 split. Jenna Bauer flips at 254, 69. And we've talked about strategy a bunch in these 500 freestyles. Selena Lee comfortable on the front half, just kind of sticking with Jenna Bauer and now has turned it into another gear here on the back half. That's definitely the strategy I, I would prefer and not, not all swimmers are in that position to kind of go a little smoother out front, but we're definitely seeing that from Selena where she was able to control the front half and then turn it on. Sometimes it's just a dead sprint chasing after that leader, so you don't get that luxury, if you will. It to be Battle for third heating up ever so slightly with Kristen Brand up there in lane number six, now challenging lane number four, Helen Tang, but... Up front, we've still got a pretty good battle taking place. Selena Lee now building a lead over Jenna Bauer as they approach the 400 split. Looks like Bauer's about at the knees of Selena Lee, 354 to a 353, so still only about a second separating the ladies. 100 yards left to go here. They are well on pace to be under five minutes. If Still a close race, but the momentum definitely belongs to Selena Lee, and that's one of the advantages of her strategy. Turning it on at the back half, it's kind of tough to come back after you've been passed somewhere around the 300 mark. Selena Lee like, executing the strategy to perfection here. And Kristen Brand up there turning it on now, moving into the third place position. She is definitely coming strong on this final 200. She's passed up. Helen in lane number four, so she is trying to secure that third place finish here in the 500. 25 yards left to go. It is Selena Lee in the lead by about a body length over Bauer in lane five. Selena Lee taking 
her second title of the weekend, at least her second title of the weekend. This one in the 500 freestyle with a time of 453.08. Jenna Bauer in for second, 454.84, and getting in third is Kristen Brand with a 501.44. Great swim there for the 15, 16 year old girls. By far and away, the music is, I think, the best so far here in day number four. We got some Snoop Dogg going on now. 